this is example number three from section 18.4. So we have here a link that consists in one bar right here, this which are mass 20 kilograms. And then we have two slim bars which are mass each of six kilograms. And we call those bars A, B, and well, this is A, C, but those are very, those two equal bars. Then we have a moment applied to bar C is 30 newtons per meter. We start in a position where the angle is theta equals zero and we go all the way to theta equals 45 degrees and they ask us to find the angular velocity for that new position of 45 degrees. So here we involve forces which are weight, moment applied and we involve velocity. When we have forces, moments, and velocity, the best approach to use is the principle of work and energy. So the solution that I'm going to do today is using the principle of work and energy. And as you remember, there is several ways to write the, that uh, principle. The way that I like to write it is using the work of non-conservative forces or uh, applied forces equals to the total energy in the second position minus the total energy in the first position, being the total energy, the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. So which external forces do we have here that do work? We have all the internal forces of the reaction of the links. They do not work because they do not have any displacement of those points or relative displacement between the points. So it doesn't do, do not do any work. The only uh, element that do work here is the, mo the applied moment. And as you remember, the work done by a moment between the position one and two will be position one to position two. The moment scalar the, the uh, change in uh, angle. So the moment here is, I will go from zero to 45 degrees, which is pi fourth, and the moment is 30 newtons delta theta. So at the end, what I have here is that the work done by the moment will be 30 times pi fourth work units, which is joule. Now that we had calculated the work, Let's calculate the other elements, calculate the potential energy. The potential energy is done only by the weight. So we have to calculate the distance that this element went down. So we have a loss of potential energy. So if we put our season in the first position, let me paint it right here. So if we are in the, the first position will be theta equals zero. Right, and we go to the other position. It's like about here. So this had a circular displacement, so we are about here. So this is my second position, right? Which this is 45 degrees. So how much did I went down? So if you see, this is I have to count this distance right here. So that first distance was the height of that, which is one, and this second distance will be one cosine of 45. I put the datum right here. So I will say that the potential energy V1 is equals to zero and V2 is equal to negative the potential energy of block B minus potential energy in position two of those two rods. So this is two rods, two times. So that will be minus mass of B times that height of B minus two times the mass of AB gravity times the height that AB went down. So that will be equals to mass of B, we say that is 20 kilograms, 
9.81, the height of B, we said that is this distance that it went down, so that will be 1 minus cosine of 45, and that will be, the second will be 2 times 6 times 9.81, and this will be 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 cosine of 45, because this was here to here, so we have to calculate this distance now. So that's the potential energy in the second position. That's the total potential energy. Now, the kinetic energy. We have to also calculate the kinetic energy of B and the kinetic energy of those road A and B. Actually, I instead of writing that for a specific position, I will write it for both because it will be the same expression. The only thing that changes is the angular velocity. So let me write the expressions and I, then I will substitute for the angular velocity. So how, how much is the kinetic energy of a block? It behaves, it doesn't, as you see, it doesn't rotate. So it's only the kinetic energy will be only one half the mass for the velocity of that center of mass of that block B square. Plus the kinetic energy of those rods, in this case we will calc we can calculate the kinetic energy respect to the center of mass or respect to one point. Since point A doesn't have any velocity, I will calculate the respect point A, so I will say two times, because I have two rods, two times one half the inertia respect to the point I'm calculated, right? Angular velocity of those rods, square. And how much is the uh, inertia of those rods in point A? We have to use the parallel axis theorem. I'm going to use it right here. So inertia of A will be the inertia of the center of mass of those rods plus mass times the distance. That recall please that is this is one twelfth the mass which is six times the length which is one, right? One meter square. And the mass again times the distance which is zero point five square. So that's the inertia point A. And that has a value, I have it right here, is equals to two kilograms meters square. So I have that inertia. So this expression, as I said, is equals for uh, position one and position two. What I have to change is the velocity of uh, the velocity in point one and velocity of point two. So in the first position will be one half the mass of B. If I have a angular velocity of 2 and a radius of 1, I have that the velocity of B will be, this is the center of rotation, so we will be 1 times 2. So the velocity of B, let me write it right here, velocity of B will be omega times that length, 1. So in this case, will be 1, and as I said, it will be 2 meters per second, plus 1 half, or 2 times 1 half, so this 2 goes with that 2, so let me write that without that plus 2. Inertia, which is already the inertia in A times 1 squared. So let me substitute those values. That will be 1 half. The mass is 20 times 2 squared plus 2 times 1. The velocity 1, which is given, is 2 squared. So that's the kinetic energy in the first position. The kinetic energy in the second position will be this exactly the same expression. Which will be 1 half, 20. Now I do not have a value for the angular velocity in the second position because that's what I'm looking for. Omega 2 times 1, just to make sure we understand that this is 
the a linear velocity, right? Well, that one becomes, so that becomes just omega 2, plus 2 omega in the second position. So that's my kinetic in second position. So I have calculated all the variables. I have calculated the work done by the moment. I have calculated the kinetic energy in the first position and the second position, and I have calculated the this is equals to zero because our datum where we put our reference frame, and I have calculated the potential in the second position. So I have to substitute in principle of work and energy. And I, I will be able to calculate the only unknown that I have done. So I will have to put this value over here, put these values, all that, over here, right? And the kinetic energy in here and here. And I can solve for omega 2, which is the value that I get is 3.49 radians over second.